Greetings, wonderful people. We bring to you the state of the nation from the desk of Nicky Bobby, where we bring you reliable news across Biafra land, the zoo, Africa, and near the world. Of course, we wouldn't forget to ask you to hit the subscribe button should you like what we are doing here. And of course, if you receive value from the information we are bringing to you, do not hesitate to give us thumbs up. It's necessary so that others will be able to find the video. I'll go ahead to share the video to those who might need it because what we do here is to bring to you information that saves life. Having said that, just a quick one, we are going to bring you the latest info as regards to what is happening right now in Imo State. It's a quick one. Information reaching IPOB intelligence units and IPOB leadership has it that, according to Ozodema, any IPOB or ESN member that's been deleted by Ebu Bagum, Ozodema will pay them one million. This is the plan on ground that this is what is going on. And that's we define to you or we tell you what happened two days ago, why everybody got surrounded. Some people, all these 14 you they deleted. Because anyone they delete, they receive one million from us of them. You can see the caliber of people we have in the East, the so-called Fulani slave. This is what is going on in the uh, states now. So this information just got to IPOB intelligence units as well as leadership, and they want to add fast. On it to make sure that this will not repeat it again and uh, following this news is the same the person the commander of the bible in emo state by name is juku akwebulama aka ogu he is from omochine merim from obahazo amiri in also east local government area he is the one leading this in emo states with hope of them this is the current situation of things. Of course, you know, IPOB, the leadership of IPOB at the same time is using this opportunity to let everyone know that they have accepted their challenge and they are going to dance to their tune. As such, starting from this moment, IPOB leadership has announced that they have activated Operation No Escape for them, especially for this the commander of Ebubag. So they will pay them back to their own coin. This is the issue. This is not a pressure do me, I do you, because ESN won't allow it to happen. So it's operation no escapee for the commander of Ebubago and the entire Ebubago unit. On having said that, we are going to travel to London in England to show you the situation reports. As temperature rose up to yesterday, was beyond comparison. Some people couldn't go to work from UK. Um, they were indoors working. The temperature was so high. And as such, it has generated to another thing. Yesterday, we brought you information or two as regards to the wildfire that is going on in Spain. It's crossing and raging across Spain, um, Croatia, Portugal, as well as France. This is what we are seeing this time around. In UK today, because of the hot temperature, yes, that is the situation that is currently ongoing in UK. We still sympathize with them. We send them our condolence. We hope that the UK government will be able to arrest this situation on time because fire is not a good incident that one have to mess around with. Following that, to bring to you, to your knowledge, some of the atrocities that's going on in the Zoological Republic as regard to the Zoological Federal Republic government, as they are bringing their zoo soldiers to the east. And a right group in the society has published their report, their survey, their finding since 20 months what the Zoological Republic Army has been doing in the southeast. Southeast is Biafra, that is what they call it. But we know it as the entire Old Eastern region. The right group has published that about 1,360 Biafrans, in other words, in the southeast, youths and the old ones has been deleted by the zoo, as well as 51,000 rendered homeless in the southeast by the military in 20 months. This is the situation. They are using these things to perpetrate evil in Biafra land in the name of keeping check on security. But where, where do you see security? This is the current situation. A civil rights group, International, International Society for Civil Liberties and Rule of Law, has just published these um, security operatives in the Zoological Republic that they have deleted no fewer than 1,360 persons and rendered 51,000 people homeless in the southeastern region in 20 months. This is the current situation, and we know, you know, what has been going on in Imo states. 
the parts that the, the Zoological Republic want to cede um, to river states. All these things are brought together in Imo State, in Olo, in Abia, everywhere. This is what is going on. The Zoological Republic, they are doing it. They know what they are doing. Yesterday, we reminded you what is still going on. As some people are running around for election and other things, they are busy perpetrating their evil in Ibe State as well. You saw what happened in Lopa. The same thing is going on in everywhere, you see. And we still want to touch this side that is going on in Borono. Uh, many Nigerian soldiers has been deleted in a fresh attack by Boko Haram in Borono State. And the worst part of it following this news is some of the soldiers that escaped, about 80 that escaped, that the Zoological Republic government, the FG, now fired them. <laughs> This is the issue. So, are you asking me why did this soldiers manage to escape? Information has it that the Zoological Republic Army has sacked 80 soldiers for fleeing from Boko Haram. This is what is going after run out of ammunition. This is the current situation. The 80 soldiers were dismissed from service over a disobedience to a standing order. The disobedience here is that why did they escape from Boko Haram? That is the question that the Zoological Republic is asking those soldiers. Why did you escape? You would have stayed there so that the, those guys, those Fulani, will delete you. This is the logic behind what is going on. The zoo is not a place to stay. It is quite difficult right now. Insecurity upon insecurity. A lot of things going wrong. No food, no electricity, no school, that's education, no health, no medicals, everything. There's no road. And now, what is going to happen? Because it will always be um, the poor ones that it will affect the most. Because those who claim to have money, of course, those who have been looting the fund, will definitely travel to other places to enjoy the fun that they have looted. You see the situation of things at hand? The zoo is down. Petroleum is high. Consumers pay more for petrol in Northeast, as well as Southeast. Why is it happening? This is a country that's pride on uh, fuel production. Now bread uh, production is high. I mean bread is high, the cost of production. The master bakers and caterers nationwide resolved to down tools and shut down all bakeries from July 20 to 26, 2022. You see the situation. Breast scarcity looms as bakers shut down operation. What next? This is a precarious situation. Although the situation right now is not really only affecting those in the Zoological Republic. But it is worse. So we must put our ears on ground. We must put our eyes on ground. Know the things that happen around us. Especially this that Imo State Governor is bringing upon himself. As well as the Imo people, our brothers. This is what is going on. And we have to be extremely vigilant and careful. And may we use this opportunity to reiterate again. That IPOB and ESN has said it once again that they didn't authorize anyone to solicit fund for IPOB and ESN. So if you see anyone in the name of collecting fund for IPOB, barrier fund, these are known that these are agents of Ibibago, agents of the zoo governments, and all these miscreants. Wonderful people, we will continue bringing you more news as things unfold. Of course, we maintain that it is in Biafra land that all of us have our citizenship. And until Biafra is fully restored, we will know this. Stay tuned as we bring you more news.